think when you put, put on the jersey, it's um it's a pretty exciting feeling, and um, knowing the guys that have gone before you, I suppose, and played in their jersey and made a bit of a legacy, it um it always gives you a wee lift, and every time, especially when you're a little born, it's um it's a pretty exciting feeling, and always always special moment. The hoops are ruthless, powerful beyond measure. The hoops inspire me, inspire me to be something great. The hoops is more than a jersey to me, it is a part of me. You know, when mum and dad decided to send me to a dark boys and follow in the footsteps of my brothers, um, I was obviously pretty excited. I seen what my brothers got to go through and um, just getting the opportunity to be a part of that, being a part of the school with such um, a hell of a lot of prestige and such great history behind it. Um, when I came in third form and everyone was talk talking about uh, what the school day is and what it means, and um, seeing a packed out grandstand, the junior's on the opposite side of the terrace and, and the blue and white hoops run out onto Littlebourne. When I was third form, I always thought um, I wanted to be a part of that. Um, but my sporting ability wasn't quite there, and luckily enough, I got to be the manager of the first 15 and um, seeing what goes on behind the closed, behind the closed doors, not just out on the uh, footy pitch, was um, a real eye opener. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on history here at Target Boys, obviously, the players that have gone before and um, built up the jersey to what it is today you know, the McCaws, the Callers, the Crockets, um, and so forth. and then, there's plenty of stars in this first 15 that no doubt go on. And um, when I was in form and leaving school and looking back on that, you sort of cherish those memories and what it means um, to be a part of it. You know, you're only there for a, for a short amount of time, and, and when the time comes to pass the jersey on, so to speak, um, you just hope that you added to it. And... Uh, what the what the hoops mean for me? Uh, I think when you. When you get in the change room, I guess you've got um, you've got all the past players that also sat there. You've got the responsibilities to uh, live up to to an extent, and you've also got to go out there and make your own legacy. You've got to go out there and prove a point to uh, yourself and, and others around you, and set your own standard for for teams to come. By 1984, I'd graduated to the first 15. I was really proud to be the coach of the first 15 at Target Boys. And we had a pretty outstanding record through that period of the 80s. Um, in 89, I coached the first ever team to win all six inter-schools. First time it had ever happened in the history of the school rugby club, which started in 1871. The hoops is more than just a jersey. Whenever you pull it on, it gives you a certain urge that makes you feel like you can run through brick walls. It demands respect, but takes loyalty, courage and bravery. When wearing the jersey, you're not only representing the school, but yourself, your family, the community and everyone else who has given everything into the jersey before you. Uh, just wearing that, that wet hoops jersey um, and uh, was lucky enough to make the first 15 um, as a reserve player in fifth form and just for me just pulling on a jersey that had a crest on it was a was a big difference kind of uh, for me felt as though you're going up another level rather than just wearing the, the hoops um, to have the crest on the jersey was something you almost died for so that was a pretty special experience and then uh, to get the number nine on the back in 97 was, uh, was even more powerful for me. I always felt putting on the jersey um, would give you 10 or 12 kgs extra just in what I'd call armour. You felt as though you were, you were bigger and stronger just by putting that jersey on. Uh, 
when you put on the Hoops jersey, it's, it's pretty special really. Um, I remember, you know, Paul Brown against uh, South and Boys, it's always a massive rivalry and, you know, the boys usually get up for it, especially out on Little Ball with, uh, with the whole school point. You know, having to, uh, to play in the lights of Timaru and Christchurch and Invercargill and uh, when you don't have your big little wall crowd around you and uh, yeah, there, there's some highlights for me as a coach uh, watching the team, what we say, dig the out of the hole and, and perform um, when they need to. So um, yeah, I've been really lucky to, to be involved with this team as a player and now a coach and uh, um, it's definitely given me a, a, a passion to, to uh, 